Welcome back to episode 2 on Moss Valley. We have new equipment. We have a class Axion. It is a smaller tractor than the Fent that we had on the previous episode. We still have the Fent. I haven't got rid of any equipment. I've just bought additional equipment. And we have a very small bale trailer. I have used these items to try and pick up the bales and navigate the field entrances. And I must admit, even with the smaller equipment, it was still a struggle to get around the gate edges. So I don't know how this is going to pan out long term. I am trying to do things in a, a realistic manner to a point. But yeah, I'm struggling. The road widths and the field entrance widths are very limiting. And whilst these are small equipment, it is still... It's still a struggle. I've also bought um, another mower, uh, rear mower for the tractor. It's slightly different. It's not the butterflies. It's one that will fold up um, with an arm. And it, it'll be smaller. It'll make things a bit easier getting in and out of fields, hopefully. I don't need the butterfly ones to create swath dropping because the bale that I've got it has quite a wide pickup, so this should still work for me. Um, and like I said, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I have picked the bales up. We've done that from the last episode's uh, jobs. Today's jobs now will be to either cut the grass on the sheep pasture. I did check, it's a sheep pasture we've got. And look at contracts and see what contracts are out there. But yeah, I thought I'd start off by showing you the... Uh, new vehicle and bale trailer just to say like I say they are a bit smaller just a bit different it's helped but hasn't fully helped so there's more to more to do I don't know if there's anything smaller out there that we could get that would have the power needs for what we're, we're going to do I'll be honest the tractor wasn't the issue it was the bale trailer so maybe it's a bit wide I, I don't know but yeah Right, so, first thing is first, we're going to bring the hood back up. Uh, we're going to start the time again, because I did recall that I didn't have the time going for part of the last episode. So we're still in August. We'll see what contracts there are. There are quite a few contracts, which is good. I'm not sure if I mentioned in the last episode we have auto drive and cosplay installed and if you're not familiar there's a person called auto drive guy who does quite a lot of decent auto drive routes for maps this map's not been out that long and he was taking a bit of a, a sabbatical for, for I imagine personal reasons but he has still managed to do an auto drive course for this map so I've got that installed now as well. I am avidly trying to avoid the trees for Craig's benefit. Craig, if you're watching this, you may find that I'm going to go in the trees quite frequently. I don't think this map's going to allow me not to avoid the trees. So the good thing is this field's not very big, so even though we're only using the one more attachment, I think we'll still get this done in a fairly quick time. I'm just going to go outside the edges, this direction in one way and then the other direction on the way back. Step one, wake up early, go and rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three. Grow hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. 
Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Okay, that's that done. We will go and get the bailer. I would say we'd bring the bail trailer with us because the bailer can tow. However, again, I don't think we'd get it in there. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'm a fake it till I make it Hmm, it's unusual Don't know why that's saying 39,000 litres for bail It's only 180 centimetres Curious. So we got no single bill from this field. Interesting. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Right, well, I think we will do a contract. Ideally, a silage contract would be good. So, field 57. 66, 67. 72. 81 Where is 81? Must be one of the larger fields. Oh, there we are, 81. I'm going to take this one along just in case we can get in with this size vehicle. It would also help if I pick the contract up. Right, I will see you at the field when we're ready to begin. Okay, we're here at field 81. I have set the bailer to come along on auto drive. We'll see how that gets on shortly. This field was a lot easier to get into. It has a double gate, which was nice. Still tight lane, but double gate, which helped. I'm also gonna put this onto cosplay. We'll do two headlands. 
25% overlap. Longest edge, a skippable generate. There we go. Okay, we're on the last hurdle of baling. We've mowed the grass. I have sent the tractor and the mowers back to the farm on auto drive. With any luck, it will navigate it competently, but with that setup, I'm not quite sure. This will be a good test. I suspect it'll navigate it better than I can, but what does that say about me? I am not sure why my baler is loaded with 42,000 litres of grass and it's still spitting out 7,500 bales, so it's only deducting 7,500 when it reaches its capacity. So ultimately 40,000 of grass is just not accessible to me at the minute. Well, would you believe it? It reached the home with no issue. Excellent. Yes, I'm not entirely certain what's happened with the bill. 
I'm going to have to uh, look into that further at some point. It won't be this episode. To be fair, it won't be any episode, it'll be off camera. Now, I'm not quite sure how long this ed edit's going to be. However, I missed a trick by not driving to the field, because again, this is a chance for you all to see the map. So my hope is if I can do it this time on the way back, it just shows you a little bit more of the scenery. There are a lot of trees here, so we'll have to um, navigate these the best we can. I mean, to be fair, they are a bit of a hindrance for driving, let alone watching. was a bit too fast for that corner. Here we are. So, I am going to collect the bales off camera and take them to the cell point because, like I said, this episode has been quite long already. I am going to chance taking this trailer a bit longer and see how I get on. And I will feed back to you afterwards. So, see you in a moment. Okay, so we're at the cell point, or heading up to it, and in the last episode I thought this might have been bale storage for the land that I owned. It's actually a bale cell point. So here is where we're selling them. too far away this time around.
So yeah, so I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.